I pray, O oh God, that your word will transform our life. For this short time that I'll be speaking, I ask that you uphold every weekend, confirm every feeble need, restrengthen those who are weak. Let those who their light is about to quench, reignited again, rekindle the fire in our heart, O oh Lord, and make us to stand firm in faith in Jesus mighty name shout amen everybody listen there are please can you know that there are three kind of people that you should pray they should not be in your family if you want to go to heaven and you want to get everything God say you will get there are three kind of people that the earlier you start praying against them, the better for you. The reason for why some people could not be stable in Christian faith is because of some persons. The reason why some people could not make it in life is because of a personality. The reason why some people could not cross the limitation of their father, could not break that limitation is because of, of some people. So these three people we are going to pray against them. If they are in your family, let go and expel them from your family. I cannot hear you shout a better amen. amen. If I were you, I will stand up and lift up my two hands and open my mouth so wide and shout amen. amen. Today is not a joke. There are these three kind of people. If they are in your office, you are in trouble. If they are in your family, you are, you are in Wahala. If they are among your family members, you are in Wahili. If they are now your friend, you are in Wahili Lai. Go and check the scenario. When something too big that it does not have the angle at which you can start solving it from, it doesn't have the angle at which you can start praying against it, it becomes Wahili Lai. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. These three kind of people, you are going to pray against them. You are going to walk. Be cautious about it. That let God excommunicate them. Are you hearing me? If these three people are in your family, dead, better people in your family will begin to die. At times we ask questions. Why are good people know they last? Why will they last when these three people are your family? Are you hearing me? The pain you are feeling today is caused by someone. Nothing happened until somebody make it happen. For you to go, listen, even the politician, you need somebody to introduce you to politics. You, there are people who have money, they are not in the politics. But you need an introduction. You need somebody to take you for consultation. Politician do consultation. For everything you get in life, there is always a meeting to decide whether it's for you or not. For your promotion in your place of work, the board sits together. And check all your performance. Then and decide whether you should be promoted or not. But if any of these three people is among the board member. And decision to promote you. They started saying it. You should know that you will never see promotion. There are some people you don't need in your life. There are some people pray never to meet them. Because if you meet them, they will drag your life backward. How can you be at the age of 54 and have, or 53 and have the first child? By the time that child is 30 years, that by the time that child goes to university, you are already good. But my prayer for those of you that your time has been wasted is that God will grant you those time that were wasted back. at my pastor for 19 years he was married he didn't marry as a small boy but he was married I mean as small people can take money no be all these people where money means road that is why they can drive and reach your leg before they break hallelujah because they didn't work for it are you hearing me now they are not my point of issue I don't have issue with them 
But the people I have issue with is there is three kind of people. This three kind of people. If they did not die, just start crying. Because sooner or later, you will start crying through, through. But if you have made up your mind that this kind of people, they are not meant to stay on earth with me. Then, you will join me for this three nights. From Wednesday, let's kill some people. We will praise God and we will kill some people. I talk saying kill some people. Yes, my Bible tells me in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 it's the Lord that kills it. It's God that kills. So when I say let us kill some people, that means we are going to agree with God that some people should not be alive. You can see how, what your family turned to now. When you start your work, everybody run away. I mean, they don't run, come back. Whoever that want to scatter you, scatter everything, may God scatter them. Amen. Now, number one kind of people, are you ready? Are you with me? You want to know them? Because at times, you can't, they don't show that they hate you. Mm -mm. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 6, he said, The Lord kill it and make it alive. The Lord bring it down to the grave and bring it up. Hallelujah. Now listen. Number one kind of person that you should pray never to meet and never to rise in your family. Genesis chapter 4. In Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 the Lord said Adam knew his wife and Adam knew Eve, his wife. Do you know the meaning of knew? No, to know her. And she conceived. The meaning of conceived means she gave belly. And Bia came. The meaning of Bia came means she come born boy. So the boy name, the conqueror came. Now, in the actual meaning of the name of Cain means I have acquired profit from the Lord. You know God sent them out of the garden. Out of the place of their destiny. I pray for you. Any of you that have slipped out of your place of destiny. May you return back in Jesus name. Yeah. Now. Let me go on. So when he born Cain. She born, she born Cain. Cain means this is the profit that God has given me. Even despite the fact that he chased me out of my real house they still bless me now in verse 3 the bible says in verse 2 he now born another person who happened to be the brother and his name is called what abel this, that's why the bible says and she again be his brother abel and abel was a keeper of sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground now in verse 3 for the first time, these children knew that their father has left God's presence. Something is missing. We need to reconnect back to God. Then on their own, as the senior son, Cain decided to offer a sacrifice to Almighty God that created their father. Hallelujah. Maybe he has heard the story from the father. Oh, they were chased from the garden of Eden brothers and sisters no matter the level of atrocity of your wife if you divorce her hey damn will be better than you when we get to heaven because despite the fact that Eve made Adam to misbehave to God but yet God honor Adam for not chasing away his wife if it is you he says since I marry you nine problem enter my life you are always reminding your own wife of how you were uncomfortable before you meet her you are not a man you are a boy i pray for all the boys that are married to grow to be men in jesus name amen. boys shout amen, amen. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. It's a good prayer. Now listen to me. The people you should not accept in your family. At the end of the day, when they make the sacrifice. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. For the fact that you are born by the same mother and father does not mean you should tell the person what God is doing in your life. You are this born by the same father and mother. It does not mean that you should always tell the person what God is doing in your life. Forget, say my, now my brother. Hallelujah. 22 of them went. If you come to this church, you don't get sense. You don't go get to you die. Are you hearing me? Listen. Cain and Abel went to give sacrifice to Almighty God. And the Bible says, God accepted the sacrifice of Abel. He blessed Abel. Because Abel decided to give God something that is of quality. Why came the elder brother who instituted offering and sacrifice? Say, I feel we should offer something unto God. He did well. For the fact that somebody lead you to a church, the same person can chase you out of the church. Be careful. Cain led Abel to God and taught Abel he was the first to bring the sacrifice and offering. Abel too did his own. And God accepted that of Abel and rejected the senior brother as well. Oh, what a joyful moment. We are the same father, the same mother. The Abel ran to the brother. Why I presented my sacrifice? Fire came from heaven. Consumed the sacrifice. God accepted my sacrifice. I am so happy. Brother, rejoice with me. And came. Look at Genesis chapter 4 verse 4. See what happened. Put it on the screen. Genesis chapter 4 verse 4. And the Bible says, Yes, God had respect. Some of you say God doesn't respect anybody. There are things you do, God respects you. But it cannot be asked to respect person, but only him respected what Abel did. Then verse 5. Verse 5. May God honor your offering today. Verse 5. He said, But unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. And Cain was very angry. And his countenance fell. You know the meaning of countenance fell? He squeezed face. No, not, not anger. You know people, they squeeze face. You see, person, they squeeze face. You, they tell them your testimony. Now, he squeezed face because his own was not accepted. Any own way, own no good. And he won't make your own to no good. Holy Ghost! Are you hearing me? Hey! Listen, brothers and sisters. Before then, there was no knife in this world. Before then, no knife. Are you hearing me? Now, read on. I want you to understand. Say, and the Lord, God intervened. God started speaking to Cain. God was a father. He knew that this guy is angry. You promote my junior brother. You deprive me of my promotion. God came to him and said, Cain, don't be angry. It's not an act of weakness on the sight of Almighty God. It's an act of a father. He said, why are you angry? If you have done well, I will have accepted your offering. But you didn't do well. Kai, you didn't do well. I pray that when you will be giving offering today, you will do well. Because, yes, all the money enter offering box, but not everyone get the blessing of offering. Are you hearing me? Now, hey, 
this man took his brother Abel and was discussing with him. They are discussing plans. Not every year deserve to hear the plan of your life. As they were going, the Bible says, he led his brother to defeat. Are you hearing me? He led his brother to defeat. Verse 8. Verse 8 of Genesis chapter 4. He said, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother. They were discussing on a mutual ground. Ah, the Lord promised me a lot of things. I had revelation that I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be great. So, oh, that is a nice one. That is a good one. And they were working together. And it came to pass. As they were walking and talking, they got to where nobody see them. It came to pass. When, put it back, verse 8, when they were in defeat, that Cain suddenly rose up against the brother. Person that you are discussing mature things with now. Suddenly rose up. And did what? He has hid the knife somewhere. He went to, to take the knife from where he hid it. And was the first man that slaughtered human being on it. And he killed his brother. The first ritualist. May I tell you this? If there is a cane in your family, the abel of your family will lose his life. But today, any cane in your family that does not want any good thing to happen to other of the brothers or sisters, rise up and shout your fire. Let God hear you. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. The most painful aspect of this story to me was not that he killed the brother. Ask me, which one? You left family compound together to defeat. And you came back alone. You are so heartless and wicked. You saw your mother crying. I have not seen my son. You saw your father weeping. Carrying everything. Going around the bush. Searching for their son. Calling his name. Help her. Help her. They were looking for him from morning to night. Nothing touched you. You return back home. Still balance and eat comfortably. Your mother was still weeping. My son. Where is my son? You make sure nobody knew when you and him were going out. Kai, any Abel in your family must die this week. Do you know the act of wickedness? T, except as of now that Adam has gone to heaven. That's when we know where his son was. T, they grew old and died. This young man did not give them a clue of how their son ended. Any brother of yours that is like Abe Cain, any of your brother, the same father, the same mother, are you hearing me? That wish you dead because God is blessing you. May the earth open his heart and swallow them. Listen, the glory of your family is Abel. The future of your family is Abel. The settlement of your mother in this earth is Abel. The settlement of your father, a son that we encourage, console, and bring up the family name is Abel. If you allow your Abel to die, it will take another generation for another one to rise. That is why Pray for your Hebel. Support your Hebel. Protect your Hebel. If 
there is any of your blood relation that is always talking angrily with that your Hebel, mark them. If there is Cain in your family compound, your Hebel will die prematurely. Don't forget this word. Number two kind of people. Look, if Adam and Eve have done agreement prayer, God should kill Cain. Abel will have been alive. Their family story will have had many and divination. Another kind of person that you must pray against in your family. Should I tell you? Yes, Second Kings chapter 11 verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 11 verse 1. Number 2. I don't know whether you get me. You understand me. If Cain is in your family, he won't bother what happened. They can keep that secret of their evil doing till they die. Even when God wanted to punish him, he did not beg. He was ready. When God analyzed all his punishment, you know what he said? He said this punishment is too much now. For that's not the way I do. He said, this punishment is too much. Read your Bible. He told God, this punishment you give me is too much now. So, so that, li listen to what he said to God. He said, so that anywhere I go, anybody who will see me will now kill me. He does not want to die. God now said to him, I will put a mark on you. You will have long life, but you will suffer. Look, if your Abel die, before you pray that Cain should die, Cain no go agree die. He go live long. <laughs> so it's better you pray the prayer to kill Abel, eh, Cain before Abel die. If Cain kill Abel, Cain no go die again. I they tell you, if Cain kill your Abel, if you come they pray after Abel don't die. Cain no go die. Because in my Bible, Cain no die. The earth cause him. God cause him. The only thing we say, he told God, say, God, this punishment is too much now. Uh -uh. Why are you going before because of that small thing where I do? Are you hearing me? Is it for this small thing where I do? So for this small thing where I do. Now God say, okay. If he says it's too much, he says, So God, you want me anywhere where I go, may they keep me. God now says, Okay, no problem. I will put a mark on you. You will have long life, but you will suffer. Anybody that have hands in your case, anybody that make you to shed tears. Holy Ghost! Number two. The, the second person, Second Kings chapter 11, verse 1. I'm just teaching you sense to get ready this week. My Abel should not die. You better tell yourself, say, the Abel of my family will not die. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth. Now listen. Am I not saying the truth? <laughs> I'm trying to interpret Bible for you to understand better. Listen to this. And when Ataliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead. Look at me. Another kind of people you should be afraid that they should not rise in your family is people who like property. What's in there your hand? Nine and they like. Hey, you buy a car. Uh, Waiting now. Huh? Not be my brother. Nami, Nami suck breast. Live for. If you give me that motto, he bad. If he give you that motto, you don't buy any motto before in your life. Are you hearing me? People who put eyes on others' property begin to report their brothers to the rest. Say, you know, help me. You know, help me. And he gave money, 
you don't want to help me. Then they go tell outsider, take my brother number. Make him help me talk to Ram. You don't want to help me. Be careful of people like that. Or else your Christianity will be a disgrace. I'm telling you. They will rubbish your oil. God forbid, but listen, Atalaya marry from the family of a king. Her husband died. Her first son became a king, not knowing this mama they hide the throne. If they see his son, when he enter limousine, everybody they hit a police, they come down. Say, ah, now we supposed to be like that, to not be me born now. No person born person, I'm supposed to enjoy a pass. Some mother here, some mothers, can you pray that your daughter should be better than you in life? If you ask your mama, make you pray that you should be better than her, and your mama no agree to the prayer. This mama ram. <laughs> People that is eyeing what you have are dangerous. Don't even make friend. If they are near you, they shift. If they are near you, they shift. If they are near you, they shift. Come and show me that your boyfriend. Where say won't marry you? What do you want to can do? And ye ye with your ye ye week for head. You go give her appointment. The day we go come see the boy. <laughs> Listen, I am trying to tell you what will happen this week. Some people need to die. Oh. How can somebody delay you for the age of 53 before you have your first child? That person is, is an animal. That English I never heard him before. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish it. I don't want to take your time. And when Ataliah, the mother of Isaiah, saw that her son was dead, she arose suddenly and killed all her grandchildren. <laughs> because she wants to sit on the throne. <laughs> the throne of her son. You may have brothers like that. When their brother die, they won't take his car. I see one family. Eh? The woman lost her husband. Not because of the one that happened. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm just telling you. The woman lost her husband. Now the husband brother begin to call the woman say, You know, say now you now me negotiate you give. It's because he was high her before. So at times, don't say my, it's my brother, it's my brother. Don't leave your wife or your brother. Your brother will just be entering your house. He can enter your bedroom. Those brother, now your wife is a loo for. I'm saying the truth. Or else, what did your brother did find for inside your bedroom? Your brother is supposed to naturally respect your bedroom and give the same respect to your wife. And not to everybody. This mama, they look for how to sit on the throne. Grandmother killed all her grandchildren because of chair. One day I was in my bedroom when I was renting an apartment. Two church members, they were quarreling by the side of my window. One said, Now this motto, now that it go give me. The other one said, My home be that. They were busy sharing my car. And I'm inside the bedroom. So I came out. <laughs> you know me now. I came out and said, Now they share my property. When are they alive? <laughs> From that day, I mark them. And at the end of the day, they gave me a problem in this church. There are some people who are eyeing that seat. Are you hearing me? 
Yeah, you see that seat of my wife? Nobody go see down there. I've told you the truth. Are you hearing me? Nobody feet. So, so don't say thank God. Anybody that is eyeing your seat, anybody that is eyeing your property, anybody that is eyeing what God has given to you, anybody that is eyeing your position, anybody that is eyeing your possession, rise up and shout fire! I say shout fire! I say shout fire! Rise up to your feet, I'm done. It remain one. But I will not tell you that one today. Time is running. But lift up your two hands. Pray. Every cane. Every cane. Anybody that is cane in my family. Let my cane die. Let my cane die. The cane where they pursue me, die. The cane where they befriend me, die. The cane where they follow me, die. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Any cane in your family. Any king, whoever that is planning how to kill you and where to kill you, open your mouth and pray. Whoever that is planning how to sack you from place of work, how to remove you from your position, oh yeah, open your mouth. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Adwa, Adwa. They want to manage your filling station by themselves. They want to manage your company by themselves. They are eyeing your company. They are eyeing your back account. Open your mouth. Attack. They are not happy with the way God has blessed you. They are not happy with the way God is taking you. They are not happy with what God is doing in your life. Oh yeah, begin to attack them. 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 Adwa. 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 Holy Ghost! The last prayer now. Atalaya.